Rockets from Gaza are reaching deep into Israel, sending families into shelters there. And ABC's Matt Gutman is in the Israeli city of Ashkelon tonight. Matt. Good evening, David. There are thousands of Israeli troops massing on the Gaza border right now, just a few miles south of me. But that has been no deterrent for the rain of rockets that have slammed into here. Four of them in this town alone, one of them where I'm standing, sending a deadly spray of shrapnel four stories high. In this surveillance video, you see the plume of smoke engulfing the building. Just today, over 100 such rockets were lobbed into Israel, nearly half intercepted by the Iron Dome defense system. The missile system, which the U.S. helped develop, has been knocking rockets out of the sky. Instantly, radar detects a rocket's trajectory. Firing an intercepting missile, so far the system has knocked out over 300 rockets with a stunning 90% kill rate. Israel has authorized the call-up of 75,000 reserves. Tanks are already massing on Gaza's border. Another one of these sirens is just going off. This has been happening all day here. We're driving around, you see people trying to take shelter under the buildings that I'm going to pull over right now, too. Some of the rockets get through. This one punched through several stories of this building and into Alex Leibovich's apartment. He didn't okay. notice the sirens. His dog, no, Lucy, did. Barking incessantly and forcing him to leave the room, a move he says saved his life. David, I want you to see this hunk of shrapnel which penetrated a safe room on the second story. Now, to give you a sense of the asymmetry of cost here, the rocket that this came from likely cost about $500. Now, the Iron Dome missile sent to intercept it, $100,000. David. Matt Gutman tonight. Matt, our thanks to you. And so what's next? Let's bring in our global affairs anchor, Christiana Bonpour, who is in Jerusalem tonight. Christiana, as always, great to have you with us on this. And it would seem we're approaching some sort of a turning point here, either a truce or a ground offensive. And what are you hearing from your sources as far as what's more likely at this point? Well, David, it's obviously incredibly tense. And despite the back and forth, though, we do get the impression that a huge amount of effort is being made to try to get a ceasefire. Israeli military officials have told us that they feel that of the 1,000 Israeli airstrikes on Gaza, they say they've gone after a lot of the rocket launching capability that Hamas has, including such things as uh, underground remote controlled rockets that uh, they've been posting on YouTube. And Christian, the Israelis have not confirmed that they're at the negotiating table, but that's the belief tonight? That is the belief tonight. We've been told by very high-ranking officials that the negotiations are happening between the Israelis and the Egyptians. The Egyptians, obviously, on behalf of Hamas. There are also Hamas involved. And, of course, the United States is involved, trying to get all its allies to make sure they exert as much pressure as possible to get Hamas to the negotiating table. So that is the effort at the moment. But Israel says finger is cocked, and if they have to, they will pull that military trigger.